Alright, in this video I'm going to be tying the California Shad Fly number 10. This fly is part of the Pfeiffer collection. The pattern calls for a size 4 3x long hook. So in the vise I have a uh, TMC 5263. I'm going to be tying this fly with red Danville's flat wax nylon. I'm going to go ahead and start by laying down a base of thread, um, probably two eye lengths behind the eye. And then just bring our thread down to the barb. Alright, for the tail, I'm going to be using some saddle hackle barbs. So I'm just going to peel a section of them off the stem. I'm just going to grab them by the tips and peel them away. And I'll go ahead and tie that tail in. and snip away the excess. I'm just going to build up my body a bit with the thread so I don't have a big bump at the back of the fly. Let's take a couple of passes with your thread. That's a bit better. For the body, it calls for silver embossed tinsel. I am actually going to use a uh, embroidery thread. That's a silver embroidery thread. And what I like to do is um, I want to peel off about two feet of it, maybe more like three feet. and trim that off the off the thread fold it in half fold it in half again okay and now fold that in half around your thread and capture it at the butt And we'll advance our thread forward and then just go ahead and wrap the body with your silver and in lieu of embossed thread I think this produces a nice looking fly Go ahead and capture our silver tinsel with our thread and snip away the excess. <clears throat> Next we're going to tie in a uh, saddle hackle. I'm going to palmer that in. I like something relatively webby. Something about like that. And I also like this spar, so I'm going to go ahead and prepare the hackle by stripping away all the barbs on the bottom part of the feather. All right.
Alright, I have my hackle prepared and I'm just going to go ahead and tie it in. And then just snip away your excess stem. and advance your thread and then just go ahead and make some wraps push your uh, hackle barbs back as you're doing this you need maybe two or three good wraps that's all it takes looks about right and I'll capture with my thread next I'm going to trim away the excess And then I just like to stroke all of the barbs back and make a good wrap or two or three um, right in front of it to help them kind of lay down. Looks about right. Alright, next we're going to tie in some bead chain eye, and we're going to do that on top of the hook. Just be careful not to capture your hackle. and then we'll go ahead and whip finish snip away our excess thread and there you have a California shad fly number 10